Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is VHS, or Violent Horror Stories, an anthology of four different games uh, with the theme of Pursuit. Um, now, I'm just going to go from the left to the right. We're going to play the first one. We don't know how long these are going to be. Maybe they're going to be five minutes, maybe then 15 minutes. Uh, this might be a video that has just two of them, maybe three, maybe the whole collection. This is all along the Toon Tower, where we need to escape from a cartoonish Cyclical existential horror. So let's, uh, oh, we've got to insert the tape. I like that. Nice little feature. Well, let's see, uh, we're going to, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to go into like some 1930s, early Mickey Mouse type shenanigans at play. Well, let's see. Let's find out. Oh. What? Oh. Where am I? I remember a building. Or some kind of archive. A sightseeing tour. Lots of moving pictures. Then everything came crashing down. Then darkness. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Gotta move. Does that... Okay. If I go through here... No. Right, so if I go through here, then I can't move into the other door? How does this work? Do I have to click on the door? Okay, this, this is going to implode my brain a little bit. So, if I move over here... How do I move to the next room? I feel like I need to slice this out so that it... How do I... Ah... I see. I see now. No? No, I don't see. Let's bring this one in here. That's got to be it. I get it now. So we're like the... This is interesting. I like this. That was just a tutorial. Chop, chop. Let's pick up the axe. Let's see the scene. So... Let's take that one out. So the axe, I break down the door. Is that right? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Are we playing like... Nice. We're like a film cartoonist person slicing scenes together. I mean, we don't have this guy's name. I see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here. So if I now put this one down, grab the axe, come back, and then put the slice in there, I can break down the door. This is, I like this, this is something new. I haven't, I haven't, I'm trying to think of games in the past that I've played that is reminiscent of this type of mechanic, and I can't really think off the top of my head. I remember Toonstruck, which was like a very point and click game of the same. So we go in here now, and then, ah, I see, I s oh, I can't move them when they're red. Hang on then, hang on. Let's go back to the beginning. Right, we need to get into the far side room here. Then we pick that up, put that one down go back in and then pick this one up and put that one down. Yeah, it took me a few seconds to understand what was actually going on, but um, we're here now. Right. Okay. No escape. I don't think we need to put this one in here. Let's, let's get the axe. Axe is always good. We like the axe. We can bust through doors with the axe. Let's go back. Let's put that one over here. If we put this one down here, will this... If I... I okay. Alright, okay. We don't want the, the slide that says no escape. Now... Hmm, interesting. So if I go... I can't go through there. Because I need this one. So if we put this slide in here... I can go into this room. 
put that one there, put that one down, go back in, and then put that one up. Yeah. There we go. I don't know what our cartoon friend is called. Um, he looks very worried all the time. Do away with evil. Oh, we don't want to meet him, do we? I'm, I mean, all right, let's just see what happens when we go in. He's going to obviously beat me up, but, um, yeah, can he come through as well? He can. So he's going to kill me, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen. I just wanted to... They're giving us a very easy one. My guy is always looking so anxious. We're going to call him Bubsy. Safe space, relatively. Ah, I see. Right, let's uh, go through here. So we don't... Ah. Hmm. What does that mean, the safe space? Oh, I can't go through. Okay, hang on. So if we go into this room, we can change this back. Does that mean... Let me see. Let me see what happens when we get the, the evil version. Can I? Oh, I can. Interesting. Okay, so all I needed to do was lead him into the next room. Okay. Interesting. And that means I throw the axe. Okay, so... Once again, this is just going to be... We use the hole. Break down the door. Oh, and then we got to run. Then we got to run. Because the safe had some kind of Cthulhu-like demon in there. Oh, I don't like this. Is he just going to... Right. I think this is going to have to run and gun it. We're going to have to run, throw the axe, and he's going to follow us, isn't he? Yeah, so here we go. Got you. Oh, he hasn't come yet. Hiya! Throw the go throw the goddamn thing. There we go. And you have the whole Willem screen in the distance as well, which is a little cute little thing that I like. I don't like you just sitting there. You don't need me, I'm so useless. Why was I created? So they're all hmm There's no doors. There's no doors in any of these. So, I sh this should be a straightforward run. This should be a simple, straight-through run to the exit. But I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh. Oh, I see what happened there. Is he... Right. Okay. Okay. I'm hoping the door doesn't go red when I go through. Let's test this theory out. Aha. So we need to then move that one over here. Nope. Forgot this one didn't have a door. Um, I'll get it. I'll get it in a second. My dumb, dumb brain is trying to work here. So if we put that one there, put that one over here, go over here. Oh, it's like the... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the rings. It's like the rings puzzle, isn't it? Now if I do this, I can move that over there, move that back there, move that here, come back into this one, move that one out, put that one in there. Oh, and he is getting closer. I think it's every time I move a slide, he's possibly, the monster is possibly coming in that way, but we made it. We're good. We're golden. Use me despite my heart of darkness. Oh, I don't like the sounds of that. We need to find out what this is, right? What happens in this room? Okay, so I can't use that. Do I use that for the monster? Let's see if I can go through here. Right, so I can... Ah, uh, it's the space in between. I see. I see. So now I move back. Now I can use that. There we go. So you can use the little slither. It's a dark room. 
but also a room that we can use, which I like. Okay. Uh-oh. Darkness equals what is... So I have to get his head? So let me... Right, let's put that down. So I need the dark room. What do I do with you? Oh, I see you're a light. I see. I understand. So now if I put you up, put you back down, you are my light in the darkness. I get it. I understand it. I'm enjoying this. Now we're in the pebble room, it looks like. So we got... Right, so we need to put you over here. You're only one door. We don't have an axe, so... Okay, let's get you. The music seems to have slowed down considerably as well now. Like, the needle on a record player is going incredibly slow. He's in there. The other a thief. I don't know... So is that you? You're the thief. You're going to steal things from me? But we don't have an axe. So we need the axe. So we're going to come in here. Right, I understand. Can I... You're going to be in there soon, aren't you? Right. So I need to put you out there. I need to put you in here. And then... You're going to be coming through. So we need to... Get through this lickly split. And then... We get through. Very nice. See no evil, evil no see. Hmm. Let's get you. Because then you'll help us see what's in these rooms. What the hell? Why is there just about a dozen of my decapitated heads in this room? I don't like it. And they're just all filled with the negative zero man, which... Hmm. This is not going to be fun. So I'm going to have to drop you back in the... Can I put you back in? How do I get rid of you? I want... Uh, I, think I, I think I messed up on this one. There's only one door here. So that's going to be... We're going to put you over here. I want to somehow turn the light off because I won't be able to get past, will I? Ah, oh, but I can move the scene. Of course I can. Yes. But now I can't get through there. I don't know what the dismembered heads do, though. Is he going to be... Well, let's try it. Let's just try it. Oh, no. Hang on. I think I just fluked that completely. I just needed a room with something in there, right? Can I do the same thing again when I walk into this room? scene in. So what am I putting in? He's right there at the door. I need that one. I need him to come to the left and then I do it again like... Right. Yeah, here we go. He's still coming. He can just walk through walls. He doesn't need that. Okay, I see. I understand. Oh, this is this is going to be timing, timing wise. Okay. I've messed this up again. I've realized I've messed this up.
Solved it. It was just a timing thing. I just had to wrap my brain around it a few times, but then I got it. Oh, Bubsy. Oh. Let's just see what's going on here. Right, so... Chandelier will create... Ah, I see. So we need to time it right so that the chandelier falls. But let's get the axe. Let's get the axe first. Pick that bad boy up. Then we're going to have to... But there's two of them. I'm going to have to be Johnny Lightfoot on my toes here. Let's just try and see how this works. Come on then, guys. Here we go. I have to run back. Nice. Didn't know if the chandelier was going to take both of them out, but it did. Okay, uh, right, so we can't get in here yet. We need to, let's get the, the axe is always good. There's two axes though. Right, so let's get you first. Let's pick you up. We have the guy still following us. Um, the chandelier. We have to come out of this room. Um, and why is that? Because well, we don't know what the dark one is first. So let's come out here quickly. Let's bring you in because we have the axe now we can smash you down let's go back out he's going to be creeping on us we can see what's in here was it worth it um possibly not I see now. I see the dilemma. So I'm gonna have to be- oh, I need another axe. Got it. I just have to time this now to perfection and hope this works. A hey. took me a few attempts, the old noodle to start baking, but once it started baking, it was baking good. Right. Now the music is almost like is like some kind of random slow motion. Of everything going on. Uh, all my skills collectively put together will do this task. I just don't know how yet. Right, we've got the chandelier. It's not too many rooms, but we do have how many axes? We've got two axes, and we need to get this right. So let's put you over there for the moment. If I collect you, then I'll know what's in the two rooms. So at least I may have to go through this again. But at least I will know what is in the other room. So we've got another axe here. A TV. Interesting. What does the TV... So if I come out of here, because I don't have to... Right, you're done now. I'm not going to use you anymore. we got a room with a TV. Let's see what the TV does, if anything. Is it just a room with a TV? Okay. Just a room with a TV. All right, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me a lot. Um, let's put you there. Let's get the axe. Um... Tell you what, chandelier room, axe over there. Let's run. Let's get the axe because our thief friend is coming in hot. And we need to see what we can do here. So if now I need to. Interesting. I need to get these two and get the next axe, don't I? So I need to somehow. If I. Ah. Uh, bums. This is not going to work the way I thought it would. Let me see what I can do. If I can run in here quickly, right. 
Okay, this is still salvageable. This is still salvageable, but I'm gonna have to be really quick on this one. Okay, here we go. Come on, guys. Follow me. Hopefully, the Thief Master guy... Go, 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 go. Nicely done. And then I get the axe here. Yes. That was a little bit tense. But we got, we got there in the end. This has got to be the last level, right? Yes, it is. So our friend Bubsy runs away from the thief monster, gets himself in the safe. There must be some way out of here. What? I don't understand. What happened there? Am I meant to... Was that not the true ending? I'm not sure what just happened. Am I meant to do something differently? Interesting. So I tried the ending again, uh, but the same thing happened. I think that's part of the existential crisis that our friend Bubsy was going through. It's just that he was on a continual loop. Um, there probably was another ending to that. Um, but once again, I'll leave the um, I'll leave the link in the description below. Play this for yourselves and see if there is another alternative ending that I just didn't happen to come across. We're going to go into the next one, which is Sensation. Become a reporter for Japanese television and do not lose your sensation. All right. Of course, we have to put the VHS back into the cassette tape because that's how it works. Um, let's begin. It's getting dark. Damn, I'm going to get fired if I don't bring a sensational content. My reporter career will be ruined. I wouldn't be able to pay my rent debt and will die in a rotten box on the street. I mean, that's a very uh, optimistic way of looking at things. What was that? I need to turn on my camera. Something did go past the camera lens. I did see it, right. So, oh, do we actually have to? I see. I need to search for these items. Bottle, newspaper, earring, cigarette case, poster. Why you'd be looking for these things as a sensationalist reporter? Don't know. Are we garbage trailing here? Are we just hopping in the garbage? All right. So, it's, there's a poster. It's like Blade Runner now. Woman who went past me looks just like this actress. Same face. Okay. We've got a paper down here. I'm not actually... Hang on. Well, I'm trying to do that, but it's not allowing me to. I'm not controlling... No? What? Hang on, I missed the newspaper, but I'm not controlling this. This is just going on some, like, rails-on section. Cigarette case. These cigarette cases were gifted to the most popular Tokyo celebrities on a recent movie fest. No, why can't... Am I... Have I mi am I... Right, I did... It's a certain amount of time that I've got it. A diary. Nita Kadzi. Ramiro Carr. Names of my colleagues. Maybe it's a list of interviewers. Okay. Oh... And a dog color. Dog's name is Joe, just like on the poster. And let's find Joe. Little Joe missing. That's a big reward for finding a dog. And we're getting the bottle now. Nope. It kind of highlights in yellow when you can, yeah, hit it like that. Huh, I know this manga. It's about a woman who drives men crazy and leads them to their doom. Now we got a... Come on! And it's just gonna cycle back, is it? Is that the... I'm trying to focus. Here we go. This is it now. I'm gonna get it now. Oh, are you serious? I've got 30 seconds left. What happens if I don't get all the... All the things? Do I have to replay the... Pla uh, the channel again? Do I have to replay the mission again? My battery's running low. I gotta get these last two things. Come on. 
One more time. <sighs> earring? Oh, I got the earring. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I'm putting that down as a trial run. Japanese Movies Queen, main cast and TV series. That's her. Why the most popular actress in Tokyo acts so secretly? I will follow her. She's hiding something. I can find out her big secret. The mystery will be revealed. Channel ratings will go up and my boss will be very happy. I'll get a raise. We'll become the best channel reporter. Or I'm just like a filthy scumbag paparazzi who's just following people. Or I can blackmail the management. That I will leave with the material. I can get everything I want. Oh, we've got to be scuzzy, right? We've got to be the scuzzy one. She's the skeleton key. She will lead me to success. She is my sensation. All right. Okay. I, am I meant to be... Con how do I... Poor thing. At least it's easy for me to get her. Oh, the hill. Right. Oh, now it's going free flow. trying to look through the thing. I don't understand. I, look, I clicked on it. I clicked on the thing. I'm clicking on the thing. How? Right, yellow. It's... Mm. No? Apparently not. What am I... Do I have to... F I have to focus on the object. Right, now I get it. Still hot. She threw the cup as soon as she noticed me. So, within this little tiny bar, I have things that I can... I get it now. Origami Crane. It's a luck. Talisman for my Sensations family. Right, I understand now. No, apparently not. Apparently I still don't understand. A mask. No matter how you try to hide, I still recognize you. Hmm. Suitcase. Here are any coins left to hide. Hieroglyphs are blurred. Business card. Hotel manager. Ah, that's the actress's husband's business card. Hotel must be somewhere nearby. What's this little ball of paper note? I'm not going to have time to get that. Suspicious package. A male engagement ring inside a package. There are blood stains on it. Okay. No, that's not something. That's not anything. Paper ball. Leave me alone is written here. I don't think so. Yeah. I think I got all the items I needed to get though, and a few more just to add into the mix. But I didn't realize that this was our little window of opportunity and you have to actually focus on the actual object yourself, not just wait for the ring of the camera lens to kind of go through it. So now I'm getting it. I'm getting it now. Only took me one level, but now I'm here. I continue to follow her, like a shadow, catching her perfume, hearing her coats rustling and getting a glimpse of her footsteps. I'm turning on the camera, but she immediately runs away behind the corner. And her eyeball comes out of nowhere. Leave me alone! Go away, I'm begging you! She runs even faster, but I still hear her breath fail. She won't get away too far. Damn! Dead end! Because she's a ghost. Where did she go? Well, we got keys. She dropped the keys. She will not get rid of me that easily. I mean, I know you're doing this for your job, my friend, but there's... There's doing your job to a kind of degree, and then there's just basically stalking. And I think we're falling into the latter category here. Okay, so we got a phone. Can we... We got something here. A scarf. A child's dirty scarf. What does it do in such a place? Oh. And we have an ID badge. Badge belongs to Ramiro Carr. Why is there blood on it? Because I'm thinking these are the other paparazzi people that she lured into these dark, dank alleyways and then killed, is would be my first suspicion. 
Have we got a security camera? Yes, we have. Broken right beside the back door to the hotel. They're trying to hide something. Yes, I think it's going to be my death. Talented actress's daughter. How much would I earn for an interview of that girl? Hmm. Oh, we have something over here. Three people are crossed out. What does it mean? It means that the other one of my colleagues was killed and I'm about to say share the same fate. I think that's what that means. And if I was a, a good as reporter as I think I was, then um, yeah. I think I'd be putting two and two together. She lost her phone. Last messages are from I define numbers. I will look at them later. All right. Oh, we have a little poster thing over here. Come on. I can see you want to go this way. There we go. News article. Tokyo's major celebrity is searching for her family members without police involvement. Some journalist article. This bastard was close to taking away my reward, but I will be first. Yes. Wow, she dropped her phone. A message from an unidentified number. You don't have much time. It's easy for you to get it. Bring me more, or you will never see your daughter again. It's so interesting. My report is getting pricier and pricier. Hmm. Is it though? Why are these signs besides a back door? I have a feeling it was just hanged. I have a, a very... Suspicious looting suitcase with eyeballs. What the fuck is that? A suitcase made of human flesh, it seems. Yes. Oh, come on. Heel matches perfectly. That's her shoes. So we've got her now. And these would obviously be her daughter's shoes, I'm guessing. So her daughter is waiting behind that room. Yeah, I don't think we want to go into room number 49, do we? I don't think we do. Everything points to my sensation hiding behind that door. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we know what's going to happen here. But we'll collect... I, I don't know if by collecting all this evidence that will help us in some way. I'm not sure. We've got some bloody towels. Revolting. Hotel staff are out of luck today. Yes. What do we have here? Doll? They broke the girl's favourite doll to scare her. Very foul. Very foul indeed. It's soaked in dried blood. Is my sensation's husband alive? All access card. Manager's card. Mmm... I don't know. I don't know about the husband. I think this might be a family affair. And what do we have here? Like a gimp bull mask thing? Broken muzzle. I think little Joe is still alive, but he definitely met some kind of beast. Well, I think the beast is going to... Can we just get this last one? Come on, let's get this last one. Whatever it may be. There we go. Familiar coins. I already found these coins in the briefcase. Death appears to be written on them. Right. Oh, we got all of them there. Oof. Almost lost the trail. I'm sure that this is the right room. The key fits. So now you're actually just entering the room. I don't think this is a good idea, my friend. I'm not missing my chances so easily. You won't scare me with the sudden cold and smell of sulfur. The smell of sulfur? Is the devil involved in this? Oh, come on. Come on now, you've got a dead body on the bed. The one who looks into broken mirror breaks one's soul. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> Something ate his face! I don't think that's just garbage, my friend. And it just disappeared? Oh, well, they're all disappearing, I guess. Girls' night lights were scribbled on. Poor kid. Hmm. I'm getting the feeling this kid is maybe some kind of demon or vampire. And, uh, yeah, I think little Joe met his end in this room. Because that's a dog walker collar there, isn't it? Torn leash, yeah. I thought these things are strong and don't tear. Well, they usually don't unless they're chewed through. And we have a bloody shirt, the husband's shirt. If my sensation's husband lost so much blood, then he must feel pretty shitty right now. I'm very nonchalant about all this. You know, breaking into someone's room. There is blood on the chair. They tortured the reporter at first. Okay. And then we have a briefcase over here. 
This purse belongs to my sensation. Death is written on, on every coin. I think we got everything there. No, no! I barely made it from one following me. How could I not pay attention? Damn! Oh god. It was so stupid. So much supernatural things happening and I didn't want to see it. What? what? Why is everyone looking at me? They're staring at me. I need to hide. And... You, oh, you just ended it there. Okay. I mean, I, I thought it had a pretty good mechanic of uh, doing the Blade Runner type thing of, you know, zooming in to certain objects. It was like a kind of hidden picture game. Um, and I think it's left a little ambiguous as to what's happened to my fellow reporters, my colleagues, my paparazzi. But at the same time, uh, you know, I think it kind of left it a bit abrupt on that one. Um, yeah, I think that was a little bit abrupt, the ending there. I suppose the whole pursuit theme is that he was chasing his sensation um, for all the time and then the tables were turned at the end because the high-rise apartment was probably filled. I'm going to go with vampires. I mean, you had a briefcase made of flesh, you had some ropes, you had some death coins. There might be some other mythology that I'm not aware of or just haven't got it in my head at the moment. But yeah, that was okay. It was getting a bit repetitive. Um, it took me the first level to find out that I could actually zone in on the objects that I'm meant to be clicking and papping. Um, and in the second one, I was getting quite frustrated because the, the lens was just on its own rails going around. But yeah, not too bad. Not too bad, that one. And there you go, guys. That was VHS, Violent Horror Stories. Um, we completed the first two um, in that anthology all along the Toon Tower and Sensation. Um, I really love the mechanic of Toon Tower, um, being able to kind of put the slices of the, the kind of comic strip in between and then use that as the kind of puzzle element of things. There was probably something I missed in that one because the tape actually did rewind to the last level. So maybe I was meant to throw the axe at the thief or maybe there was another way of escaping that I wasn't aware of. Sensation uh, started off pretty good. I like the kind of storyline that the kind of paparazzi are following the sensation and things are a foul. Things are not working very well. We didn't really find out what was going on. I think it was left a bit ambiguous. Um, but yeah, we will cover the second two video. Uh, vi we will cover the second two VHS tapes in a second video. Until then, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already, please sub. Because if you do, then you will become my sensation. I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.